Today on Big Boy Travel, we're going to cover the top 10 beer tents at Oktoberfest in Munich, plus a couple extras, and some great insider tips to help you plan your visit. There's an overwhelming number of options when trying to decide which one of the beer tents you should visit at Oktoberfest. Most years, this huge festival has 15 mega-sized beer tents, 22 small tents, beer gardens, and freestanding drink stands to choose from. While there's a lot of options, you really need to plan ahead to decide which tents are right for you, as on any given day you're going to be competing with over half a million visitors for just 120,000 seats, and only about 80,000 of these seats are located inside the 15 main beer tents. In this video, we're going to tour all of the best beer tents at Oktoberfest so you know what to expect and can start prioritizing which ones you want to visit. Remember to visit our website bigboytravel.com where we have a full guide on all of the best beer tents for Oktoberfest and some insider tips. After you narrow down your beer tent list, make sure to check out our guide and companion YouTube video covering how to get reservations for Oktoberfest, which also covers how to get seats in the tents without a reservation. Following our reservation guide will make it easier to hop between multiple tents in one day so you can sample the different atmospheres, signature dishes, and drinks. While we often update our Oktoberfest tent rankings, by far the one that's remained at the top year after year has been the Hofbrau tent. As the child of Munich's historic Hofbrauhaus beer hall, this is the wildest and most fun out of all the Oktoberfest tents. The Hofbrau tent is huge with nearly 10,000 seats inside and out, and it's so big that it sells over 750,000 liters of beer every Oktoberfest. The average level of energy and enthusiasm at the Hofbrau tent any day of the week is unmatched. Because it is so popular, the Hofbrau tent attracts the largest percentage of foreign visitors at Oktoberfest, leaving it often to be called the international tent. As a whole, only around 15% of the visitors at Oktoberfest are foreigners, but at the Hofbrau tent it can be as high as 30% international visitors. But regardless on where people are from, everybody at the Hofbrau tent is here to have a good time, and the live music becomes a universal language. While a few locals will say that the Hofbrau tent is only for stupid tourists, in reality locals book all of the evening and weekend reservation spots up to a year in advance. There are even huge sections inside the Hofbrau tent just for these local only reservation spots. Luckily there's an abundance of unreserved seats at the Hofbrau, which is another reason why it's the best tent at Oktoberfest. If you watched our video on how to get reservations for Oktoberfest, you know how important it is to plan ahead to get a seat, and these extra unreserved seats at Hofbrau can really help out a lot. Hofbrau even has a very unique thousand person standing room only section that gets to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Similar to Hofbrau's famous restaurant, all of the food in the tent is very good, but most people come here for the beer. As a great complement to the lively indoor atmosphere, the Hofbrau also has an excellent outdoor beer garden. With so many festive elements, great beer, and an unmatched level of energy, it's no surprise that so many visitors to Oktoberfest have the Hofbrau tent at the top of their bucket list. Adorned with the cityscape of Munich on its facade, our second favorite tent at Oktoberfest is the Hockupshaw. The Hockupshaw tent, also known as the Hakka, has over 9,000 seats, a very famous mural painting covering the walls, and their brewery has been in business since 1417. The huge brightly colored mural covering the walls and ceiling inside the Hockupshaw tent is what definitely sets the festive mood. The gorgeous 360 degree work of art depicts Old World Munich underneath a sky of clouds and Bavarian stars. 
So it's no wonder that the Hakab Shore tent has gained the nickname of Himmel de Bayern, which means the heaven of Bavaria. Because the inside of the Hakab Shore tent is so beautiful, it's a favorite among the German TV stations and professional photographers. The view from the second story balcony is one of the best vantage points in all of Oktoberfest. Much like the Hofbrau tent, the Hakab Shore is definitely a very energetic place any time of day. With the gorgeous muraled backdrop, what really fuels the atmosphere inside the Hakab Shore tent is the amazing live music. Starting with brass oompa music and moving into classic rock hits, the intensity of the music in the Hakab Shore tent is helped by the fact that their band is centrally located. The stage in the middle of the tent also rotates and it's decorated with nine red-coated barrel makers known as Coopers. These joyful figures mirror the ones inside the Glockenspiel at Munich's new town hall. With a combination of beauty and great music, the Hakab Shore tent has maybe the most magical moment in Oktoberfest each year. This happens at closing time of the last day of the festival, when everybody lights up sparklers and joins in singing Sierra Madre. Our third favorite beer tent at Oktoberfest is the Schutzen. Located near the foot of the Lady Bavaria statue, this tent is one of the most favorite among locals. Because the Schutzen is very popular and has a couple thousand less seats than both Hofbrau and Hakka, it can fill up very fast even on weekdays. The name Schutzen, meaning shooters, goes back to the days where there used to be shooting competitions at Oktoberfest, and today the tent attracts a lot of international celebrities. With an iconic green, red, and yellow interior, the Schutzen is often called the music tent. This is because they not only get the best bands at Oktoberfest, but they also have a largely German-speaking crowd that really gets into all of the music. We absolutely love this tent, but we highly suggest that you check out our Oktoberfest music guide at bigboytravel.com before attending so you know what the songs are all about. One of the most famous aspects of the music inside the Schutzen tent is their very unique version of the popular Oktoberfest song called Ein Prosit. There are a couple different aspects to the Schutzen version of the song, which starts with their own signature call to action to raise your glasses and get ready. The middle of the song Ein Prosit inside the Schutzen tent is the normal salute to friendship and good times. After the countdown call to cheers with your neighbors, there's an extra special festive part added onto the end of the song here. Schutzen serves Lohenbrau beer, which is the brewery that hosts a famous after party almost every night of Oktoberfest. Unlike most of the main beer tents, the Schutzen has a full bar in its southwest corner which serves schnapps, mixed drinks, champagne, and wine. This tent is also well known for having the best pig dishes on their menu, which is really saying something since Munich is famous for its pork. Visiting the Schutzen tent is also a great opportunity to visit the nearby Lady of Bavaria statue. Standing 60 feet tall on a 23-foot base, you can actually climb the back of the statue to get a bird's-eye view of the Oktoberfest grounds. The fourth best tent at Oktoberfest is the Kefa's Tavern, which is definitely a must on any itinerary. Unlike the other tents at Oktoberfest, Kefa's Oktoberfest Tavern is designed to be like a rustic farmhouse inside where you can get that Bavarian coziness known as Gemütlichkeit. Kefa's Oktoberfest Tavern could easily be our top tent, as it has the most authentic atmosphere, a high level of fun, and the best food at Oktoberfest. The only reason it isn't in the top spot is because it fills up fast, making it difficult for many visitors to get in, but with a little planning following our reservation guide, you'll get in with ease. This country-style tavern is divided into two levels, each one of them has their own band in the middle, and the segmented seating is a lot more flexible with options for 6 to 12 people and even a couple two-person seats.
From top to bottom, Kefa's Oktoberfest Tavern is exactly what the festival is supposed to feel like. It has amazing music, gourmet food, and almost every inch of the tavern turns into a dance floor. You'll have to plan ahead to get inside, and you're definitely going to want to dress traditionally, but the level of fun and friendliness you'll find inside Kefa's Oktoberfest Tavern is truly unmatched. In addition to its energetic interior, Kefa's Oktoberfest Tavern also has the best outdoor beer garden at the festival. We love how the rustic elements carry outside into the beer garden and it gets really stunning after dark. While Oktoberfest is famous for its beer, you definitely have to check out all the sparkling wines and champagne at the Kofla's Wine Tent. There are actually tons of places to get wine at Oktoberfest, but because Kofla's is sponsored by Neffenberg Sect, which is one of the most famous wineries in Bavaria, you'll have over 25 different labels to choose from just in one tent. Another thing that makes Koffler's wine tent very unique is the fact that it is a true festival hall designed to feel like a royal hunting lodge. With only 2,500 seats, the cozy atmosphere inside the Koffler's wine tent is accented by the fact that it is segmented off into intimate feeling booths. This design really helps the Koffler's wine tent come alive in the evenings as everybody dances on top of their sturdy benches. With a great drink menu, a very cozy layout, and an amazing concert-like atmosphere in the evenings, you definitely need to add the wine tent to your list at Oktoberfest. The sixth best tent at Oktoberfest is the Schottenhamel, which also happens to be the oldest on the grounds dating back to 1867. When Schott & Hamble first started, it was a tiny shack that could only hold 50 farmers at a time, and now it's one of the biggest at Oktoberfest with over 9,000 seats. While this tent is extremely popular with Bavarians of all ages, for decades the Schott & Hamble has been the favorite place of young Munich residents in their 20s to visit. Because the Schott & Hamble is very popular with locals, the unreserved sections can fill up faster than normal even on weekdays. The Schottenhamel also has a very important role at Oktoberfest, as it's here that exactly noon on the opening Saturday, the mayor of Munich taps the first keg and declares the festival open for all. Even if you can't make it here on opening day, the Schottenhamel is a great place to start your own Oktoberfest adventure. Going back to 1901, the Brau Rosel is one of the tents that really keeps tradition alive at Oktoberfest. Roughly translated to English as the Brewer's Rosie, the Brau Rosel was named after the daughter of the original brewmaster of this tent. Rosie was beautiful, charismatic, and would wow the tent with her amazing yodeling skills. Today those yodeling skills are still on display as a tent ceremonially has a yodeler multiple times a day in Rosie's honor. With an amazing atmosphere, the Brau Rosel has remained one of the favorites among locals and is easy to find thanks to the two 60-foot tall maypoles near its entrance. Since the 1980s, the Brau Rosel has also been home to Gay Sunday, which takes place on the first Sunday of Oktoberfest each year. If you were at Oktoberfest to try all the best signature dishes, then you definitely need to check out the Ox Tent. Opened in 1881, this huge tent has an interior filled with blue and white garland, but it is most famous for its juicy ox meat sandwiches. The oxen tent is also well known for its amazing prime rib dish, which is often considered the best meal at Oktoberfest. The spot and beer goes great with the food, and if you walk to the open kitchen, you can see the oxen being cooked fresh on the rotisserie. They typically cook seven oxen a day here, and the names for each one are listed on the front of the tent as you enter. Even if you can't get inside the oxen tent, they have a secret side door where you can get an ox meat sandwich for takeaway. If you want to feel a throwback to old school Oktoberfest, then you really need to visit the marquee tradition tent inside vintage Oktoberfest known as the Odewiesen. This area of the grounds was set up in 2010 in honor of the 200th anniversary of modern Oktoberfest but it became so popular that they kept it around as a permanent event. 
The Marquee Tradition is the most family friendly out of all the tents, and they have very flexible booking options for reservations even for foreigners all the way into August. Throughout the day there will be live performances from traditional folk groups including whipsnappers, dancers and singers. The Tradition Tent is also one of the only places you can drink from a real stoneware stein instead of the large 1 liter glass mugs known as mosses. It's all of the attention to detail from the old school mugs, the dancing and the vintage folk groups that make the Tradition Tent a really cool place to visit while you're at Oktoberfest. As one of the favorite tents of locals from Munich, the Augustiner is considered to have the best beer at Oktoberfest. The Augustiner Brewery definitely is a thing of pride in Munich as it was founded in 1328 by local monks. We especially love their light beer known in German as Hellas. The beer inside the Augustiner tent tastes extra fresh as it's one of the only places that still serves out of wooden barrels. In addition to having the best beer at Oktoberfest, the Augustiner also has a very gorgeous interior. With dim lighting and a green vaulted ceiling, the atmosphere can become very romantic inside the Augustiner tent. If you're looking for a beautiful atmosphere where you're surrounded by locals and have the best beer at Oktoberfest, the Augustiner might be the tent for you. Often called the dessert tent, Café Kaiserschmann is the only one of the 22 small tents that litter the Oktoberfest grounds, which makes our top overall beer tents list. It's not surprising that Kaiserschmann means a silly emperor when you see the playful gingerbread-like exterior. The cafe is run by one of Munich's best confectionery shops, and the playful atmosphere is enhanced by freshly baked pastries, sweet gourmet treats, and amazing drinks. The tangy cocktails are great, but the drink of choice at Kaiserschmann is definitely Prosecco. While this tent attracts an older crowd, there's definitely no shortage of fun. As a cool tradition, they have a ceremonial cake cutting in honor of King Ludwig I, whose wedding in 1810 kicked off modern Oktoberfest. In addition to the desserts and the sweet drinks, what really drives the atmosphere in the Kaiserschmann is the music. There's even a custom catwalk for the musicians. We cover all of the tents from this video, plus a couple extra ones you need to know about in great detail at our guide at bigboytravel.com slash Oktoberfest. We update our best beer tent rankings often, but we also cover many of the other attractions around the Oktoberfest grounds, including the rides, carnival games, beer gardens, and freestanding drink stands. These drink stands serve everything from wine to champagne and schnapps and can be a great place to stop while you explore the grounds and hop between the beer tents. There's even a hidden wheat beer carousel where you get to slowly rotate while you drink your beer and the vintage carousel almost feels like a mini beer tent. If you enjoyed this video please like it Share it with your friends and subscribe to our YouTube channel for free to see even more upcoming videos from Big Boy Travel. We also have a complete Oktoberfest guide on our website bigboytravel.com covering reservations, the best tents and how to dress. Thank you again for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel. We'll see you again soon.